Hello everybody, it's the Tech Tipster here and today my question for you is Do you want to run your Steam game collection on your Raspberry Pi? If the answer is yes, then watch on and if the answer is no, watch on anyway because this is actually pretty cool. Right now you can see some footage of me playing next car game straight from my Pi and this is all possible thanks to Limelight, a tool which allows a GeForce Experience enabled PC to stream games straight to a number of different devices. This install on our Pi is also going to be made a lot easier thanks to Astiasto from the Pet Rock blog community who has built an easy installer for the RetroPie distribution. Now as with all hacks like this there are a few catches so listen carefully to our requirement list. We will need the power of a Raspberry Pi 2 as I'm told this does not work well on older models. Our Pi and PC will need to be connected to the same network and via Ethernet as well for the best possible performance. Sorry guys, Wi-Fi may not cut it for this. You will most likely need an Xbox 360 controller as well. I tried this with the DualShock 3, but unfortunately it did not work due to some complications that I wish I could explain. Other controllers may work, but no promises. You will also need Steam installed on your PC along with GeForce Experience software for streaming assistance. If those criteria are all met and you still want to go ahead, watch on and let's jump into it. First of all, connect to your Pi either via SSH or a keyboard and access the terminal. We'll first create a directory for our Limelight installation and change the permissions so we don't have any issues during install. The command we need for this is sudo mkdir slash home slash pi slash limelight and then sudo chown dash r pi colon pi slash home slash pi slash limelight. These are shown on screen and also in the description below. Next, we're going to open our folder using the cd command, so type cd space slash home slash pi slash limelight and then download the installer using the git clone command. It is a bit of a mouthful, but you can see that on screen now. Once again, all these commands will be in the description, so if you are using PuTTY, make sure to copy and paste them to make your life easier. Also be very aware of the capital and non-capital letters as these are important. This process won't take very long, so once it is complete, we'll navigate into our newly created Limelight install folder using the cd command and change our permissions of the install file just in case. Type cd space retropy limelight installer and then sudo chmod plus x limelight retro install sh. Now we are ready to install, but before we do, make sure your PC is on, GeForce Experience and Steam are running and are both up to date, and your Pi and PC are connected to the same network. Once that is done, it's time to run our script using dot slash limelight retro install dot sh. Wait until you see the following screen and your PC is detected. Once that is done, press Ctrl C and you will be prompted to enter the IP address of your computer. Simply type the number you see above and press enter. It will now attempt to connect to your PC and if done correctly, back over on your PC, you should see the following prompt. Enter your PIN and your Pi and PC are now paired. Now that is done, it's time to set up our controller. The script will list the connected devices and it's as simple as typing the event number that corresponds to your control. Press enter and then follow the prompts to set up your pad. If you do not get any input from your control, it is possible it is not compatible. As suggested, restarting your Pi and running the config file from the emulation station menu may resolve this issue. Once that is done, we are complete. Type sudo reboot and let the system restart. Once emulation station loads back up, we'll be presented with a limelight menu option and a few modes to choose from. I recommend using 720p 60fps for best performance, although 108030 also worked quite well. Unfortunately, 108060 is not possible just yet due to the limitations of the Pi. So that's it guys, we're into Steam, and it does work quite well. Your games that are available will show on this menu. Simply select one and hit play. Got to be careful though, some games do require a mouse input like this one, so I did have to click this with the mouse which I had handy. But if they are set up for a gamepad, they will work beautifully. So that completes our Limelight install, and I'm actually quite impressed with the performance. Please let me know how you go, and I would also be interested to hear people's experience trying this on Wi-Fi. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, 
and hit subscribe if you have not done so already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.